Welcome to uh, another episode of 100% Fresh with Two Chef Mission. We are Two Chef Mission, and today we will be talking about the difference between meal planning and meal prep. So first, I think it's important for us to talk about what each of them are. So that's actually a great thing. I think that the best way to describe it is that meal planning is the idea of understanding what you're going to have and thinking ahead of what you want to have and the meal prep is the actual execution that's of actually, that. Yeah, I was like that's one of the probably best ways of putting it but the planning is the whole step by step everything yeah. like starting what you're doing like idea like yeah. conceptually all the way through and then the other is just executing yeah. So I think those are going way. to be some of the very specific differences. But some of the key differences also include time frame. Oh, <laughs> because, yeah. That's huge. Mm-hmm, because your planning is going to be done all before. Yeah. And I feel like the planning, I feel like realistically, in some regards, takes less time than the actual preparation. Well, yes, because your planning is going to be, okay, what is my schedule going to be like for the week? Mm -hmm. What days am I going to be cooking or what recipes do I need? So you're mapping out what you're going to be doing and when. Right. And then for prepping, you're deciding then. So like you could get your planning done in what, like 10 to, if, if you're, If you've been doing it long enough, you could easily get it done most likely in 10 minutes. Yeah. If it is newer to you, it might take more towards like 30 minutes to an hour. Right. Um, If you're just doing it on your own. That makes sense. And then for your preparation or for prepping, that's going to take a few hours. Yeah. Depending on if you're doing it all, like so if you're doing batching or if you're spreading it out through days overall it will take more time yeah i also feel like it's dependent on your on your comfort level and your expertise level in the kitchen and with the recipes that you're going to be uh using because if you're really familiar with the recipes then you know how to really navigate and work around it pretty quick yeah but if it's like a brand new recipe it's it's going to take you a little bit more time because you want to thoroughly read through Mm -hmm. to make sure that you're like okay am i doing this correctly yeah well, and for, even for us, if we're batch cooking for mm-hmm. the week, so if we're doing anywhere from like two to four recipes, we're taking anywhere from an hour and a half or two and a half hours probably the most to get all of it done. But yeah. that's start to finish. Yeah, no, that makes sense. So for someone who's looking to do exactly that, if you were doing batch cooking where you're doing everything so that means that you're going to be doing all of the prep in one day yeah it would be similar so and spread out throughout the week it could be more or about the same depending on like you said your comfort level yeah those are good points Mm -hmm. and i think we both can agree that the scope of the activities is also a major key difference between meal planning and meal prepping yeah no it's those are huge differences Mm -hmm. because your planning is going to be where you're also making your decisions on what recipes are you going to use right the ingredients that you're going to get the the mm -hmm. day that you're shopping or if you're going to have it ordered in and have somebody shop for you and deliver it Mm -hmm. because that's a big thing now like so many people are getting the groceries delivered for convenience <laughs> even us yeah especially yeah. us like <laughs> yeah it makes it so much easier mm-hmm. especially with the three kids mm-hmm. like to go and shop with all three kids is like adding fuel to a fire <laughs> it makes it <laughs> so it's, much harder it's good at the beginning yeah, usually, yeah, yeah. and then at the end it's just <laughs> chaos <laughs> It's complete crazy. Yeah, um, absolutely. But, that's, but you kind of also showed the the fact that, like, so with your planning, you also have the flexibility of your circumstances of yeah. figuring out when is going to be your easiest time 
to plan when it's going to be your easiest time to shop or get things delivered when it's going to be easiest time to cook throughout the week exactly whereas then because it's all of your scheduling whereas mm -hmm. like with your prep all execution yeah so it's yeah so it's all of that actual time and skill that you're going to sit in the kitchen mm -hmm. or well, invest in your kitchen mm -hmm. to make sure that you're getting all of the, the food done and ready. And like you said, depending if you're batching it or if you're cooking it per day or per every other day. Mm -hmm. And um, the big thing about once you have your plan, your prepping is like just following it. Yeah, that's the biggest thing. And that's... <laughs> so you've already done all the work of planning it. So just follow it. Yeah, and then I was you'll gonna say that meals. That honestly makes it the easy part of the whole experience. And of course, preparation has its own challenges. Where it's like you know, I said at the beginning, it's, it, depending on your skill and comfort level in the kitchen, mm -hmm. like it could go very quickly. But I feel like that that's where it becomes the easy part is once you have everything at home mm -hmm. and once you're ready to go ahead and jump into it yeah and i think that i one of the big reasons why we are talking about the key differences and kind of like the fact that there is a difference between planning and prep is because a lot of times they kind of get mixed up or yeah. very interchangeably used which the main thing is that they basically go hand in hand yeah that's because true. you you can't really have your prep without the planning yeah and you can have your meal you I mean I guess you can to an extent it's very much I mean you really but you really can't because no, if you're, because you're was, prepping you plan I was just about to say <laughs> even it if, just depends on how extensively that is yeah because I was gonna say even if it's a last-minute meal decision mm -hmm. like let's say you know it's a Thursday night and you're like you know I just want tacos and I'm gonna make tacos mm -hmm. ground beef tacos that, that was a decision, that was a plan, and now you have to plan to go to the store to pick up the ingredients because yes. nine times out of ten, they're not just sitting at your home waiting. Mm -hmm. So the, the ideal situation in, in that they can both be very efficient with mm -hmm. each other, but the best way to do it is to plan ahead oh, yeah, so absolutely. that you're not having to do those last-minute meals. Right, especially the last-minute grocery shopping trips mm -hmm. because you never want to shop hungry. I feel like most people probably can can say that they've shopped hungry and I bet oh, yeah. you went home with things that you either would probably never buy wouldn't regularly buy or didn't need right <laughs> and so that is where very true don't shop hungry <laughs> <laughs> but the main things for the difference between meal planning and meal prep is your planning is done before Right. And it is your roadmap to what your meals are going to be. And meal prep is going to be actually executing your plan and making the food. Yeah. And those are great points. Yep. We hope you enjoyed this episode. And until next time, keep it 100% fresh. <laughs>